Radio show in the whole wide world. That's FY Radio Show with your host, Miss Yolanda Lady. And I'm Ed Everett, the co host. The music that you hear in the background is none other than Miss Yolanda the Lady Hinton, where I am now. And if you like to still slide in WGPL 1350 Studio, all you have to do is go to Edward Edwards' Facebook page on Miss Yolanda the Lady Hinton Facebook page, and guess what? You can see us live right here in WGPL 1350 Studio. <laughs> And if you want to hear us all over the world, all you have to do is go to www.christianbroadcastingcompany.com, click and listen live, or you can go to WPC 1400 AM or WGPL 1350 AM, click on the church webcast, and guess what? You can hear us all over the world. And now I want to introduce to some and present to others the host of the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world, Miss Yolanda the Lady Hinton, and a pleasant good morning to you. Good morning, Mr. E. It's a fabulous day in the neighborhood. It's what you could you will you be my neighbor. Let's welcome our neighbors, our WGPL 1350 AM listeners. Peace 953 FM and WGPL 1350 and WPCE 1400. <laughs> I said that again. Didn't I? You just yeah. did very well and very well. Yeah. But we also want to welcome Facebook Live. Good morning, Tracy Porter. We want to welcome Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, follow, comment. We'll shout you out later in like, the show. Like, share, subscribe, follow. Yeah, say that again, Mr. Like, share, subscribe. Okay, we ain't gonna subscribe, but we're gonna subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> like, sure. share, subscribe, and follow. And comment. And comment. Yeah. We'll shout you out later on. Yeah. And show. I tell you what, Miss E, it is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A wonderful weekend. It kept the time. I had a good time on this weekend. I did a wedding this weekend. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, oh. yeah, to Mr. Bellamy. Oh, that is marvelous. People are still getting married. Yeah. That is a great thing. I had a wonderful time. Enjoyed the beautiful weather. Got a chance to work out. Just had a good time and uh, just looking forward to a, a wonderful day on today. It's Monday and we are ripped. We are ripped for this day. Ripped for this day. We're ripped for this day. This is the day the Lord has given us. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. The weatherman said it's going to be 90 degrees on today. So you're ripped for today. I'm ripped for today. A little bit of showers on the PM, possibly. Uh, but I tell you what. Lord, you do what you have to do. We'll just sit back and enjoy whatever that is. And don't forget the children get out earlier today. That's oh, right. The little ones get out early today. So be on your P's and Q's and watch out for the little ones as they get out uh, early. Absolutely. Mr. E, it's Monday and it's sports. Talk. <laughs> Mr. E's ready for some sports talk, too, because I'm telling you, we've been following the season of the NBA, and uh, we're going to have Mr. E chime in, myself, and we have a very special guest. We have Coach Darren D. Nice Sandlin. He's with us this morning. Good morning, Coach. Good morning, good morning. That spirit y'all got is so infectious. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm feeling good, and I'm thanking God for this wonderful, wonderful uh, weather and this beautiful life. Coach, tell us about yourself, where you're from. I bet you everybody knows D-Nice. Give us a little bit uh, about yourself and, uh, well, and just 
get everybody updated. Yes, ma'am. Well, I'm just Coach Terry Sanders, and I'm the head basketball coach at Kempfield, Kempfield High School. Yes. Graduate of Booker C. Washington High School, state champion, uh, alumni of North State University, CIAA champion. You know, it was it wasn't the me act like this. CIAA. Absolutely. Coach, how did you feel of, of being uh, in a historical school? I mean, it's really the name of the Washington goes so far back. Yes, yes. Uh, it, it's great because you, you learn tradition and you learn pride, you know, especially pride, you know, from people that went to school before you and, and really broke down a lot of barriers. Yes. Um, I tell you what, we're here to talk about you as a coach. Uh, when did it all begin? Well, actually, um, you know, playing at Booker T and then playing at Walker State, I pursued a career of professional basketball, playing overseas in various countries, wow. Hong Kong, the Philippines, over in Canada. And, you know, when coming back, you know, you got you to gotta make a living in some kind of way sometimes. You can't play all day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they say part of time is under <laughs> Was it exciting though? Was it an exciting experience going overseas? Um, wow. Yes, most definitely. You know, experiencing different cultures and, and, and it makes you appreciate what we do have here in the United States. Um and but one thing I did learn overseas is that, you know, some of those countries don't have as much as we have. So you, you have to learn to love, love each other, yes. respect each other, and be able to, to pick people up. Absolutely. So show us about your season this year. Uh, we, we had a good season this year. Uh, we actually finished town the first place in the beach. Yes. Uh, in Virginia Beach. Um, we lost a uh, playoff game actually four seconds before going to the state playoffs. Amazing. Oh, so. We had a good season. We really did. The oh. guys were really like, and really grew up. Uh, and, and that's one of the main things about coaching, uh, giving an, an experience that won't be forgotten. Yeah. Well, I want to say good morning to the coach, and thank you again for joining us. Now, they said you can't be a real booger. Uh, that's the way of booger T, unless you know, that, unless you went to the factory. Did you make it in the factory? That's right. They so, say, they say, so, you, so you just a Washington, not Booker T. <laughs> 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 you know, because the factory was the thing. Coach, I am so excited. Again, I am delighted because we're down to the finals now. We are down to now. I'm alumni of the Commodores. I want to throw this in before oh. I go. Now, before we yes. get take off. Now, how many times did the Commodores beat the factory? <laughs> well, well, well. I, I think, I think uh, you lost more than you won. Oh. But, but we had some awesome rivalry. That's right. That's right. Uh, the awesome rivalry games, and, and you know, and it's funny because people who played in those games against each other for more than Commodores and Booker Washington, uh, we 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 are praying to still right now in the day. That's I right. Team so hard. And going against each other, we, we've been able to take our culture through to become better people and, and still support each other. That's when I was over at the Commodores, your uncle or your cousin played along with me, Jared, you know, um, yes, as we played great football. You know what, uh, Coach, as we begin to dialogue, we're in the championship. We're down yes, at the finals, the, the final two games down here today, and the, the tie is 2-2. Two -two. I want to yes, know what coaches. I want to know what your team is before we talk about the NBA. What's your NBA team? Hey, hey don't, don't you guys laugh at me? <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Los Angeles Lakers. Oh, yeah. well, that's I, all right. I, I <laughs> Well, I'm glad that you got it out first. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. <laughs> you know, I'm glad you got it out. And all of y'all, was you one of the ones that since you saw um, all that team that they had, AB and uh, 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 and LeBron, and that team that just got whipped, just got tore out the frame, was you surprised that that team was going to get whipped like it, done, like it did? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was. I was very, very much surprised and very disappointed and very upset. But um, 
you know, it just goes to show that, you know, you can have all the talent in the world, but if you don't have the chemistry, that's right. the business, you know, it, it, it's hard to win. So you felt like that was some of the problems? Uh, just, you know. Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh -huh. ma'am. Ms. Brennan, um, you know, you gotta have chemistry and cohesiveness. You gotta have sacrifice. And I think what happened, go guys, we come together. Yeah, and, all right. And, and yeah, all right. Coach, 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 come on, coach. Come on, coach. Coach, come on. You had a, the Lakers had a team of ballers, leaders, all these individual players yeah. that was on the, that won the Lakers. They don't know anything about playing together. They yeah. don't, yeah. you know, they don't know nothing about, you know, we won't. But everybody had teams before. Everybody led teams before. Now you got five guys on your on the floor that's already the elite and superstars, and they got to put theirs in. Yes, yes, and, that, and that, I think that was the downfall right there. You know what I mean? Some night is not my night. Yes. Some night you might have to take over the day. I want to know what do you think going ahead for the Lakers this uh, after this season, uh, the new season that would come up. Uh, how do you feel that they're going to move ahead? And uh, uh, Magic Johnson had a lot to say about them. He wasn't pleased at all. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully with the new coach coming in, uh, Coach Ham, uh, I mean, you know, we had basketball coach the Lakers. Uh, if you be able to to infuse them. To, to play together, play old traditional Laker basketball, whereas they Magic was upset because when yeah. Magic played, Magic took the back seat to the captain, including Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and then they had a lot of role players, Michael, yeah. James Worthy, you know, Kareem Rand. That's ball. Well, that's ball. That's ball. Yeah, yeah that's ball. ball. That's right. I want to get to this current game that we have in here. I can't wait. I can't wait. You know, we got two great coaches out there. We got Kerry out there for the Warriors, and we got um, um, and we got the uh, Boston coach out there. Now, the Boston coach is not a red R back. We know that he's not a cigar kind of smoking cat that's out there like Boston is accustomed to having out there. Now, if you was the coach of the Boston Celtics, what kind of strategy would you use tonight on a 2-2 series? You know, last game, Terry had the game he had, he wanted to shoot the eyes out of the ball. I don't want to shoot the eyes out of the ball. Yes. Some young legs coming off the bench. Yeah, sure. but, but here's the thing that, okay, they was talking uh, on sports talk. They was talking the other day uh, when they got to the Golden State Warriors. What would you do different as a coach for the Golden State Warriors? Well, I think Golden State is going to have to go deeper. They, they, they end up doing the latter part of the game uh, more. Um, you know, they, they do some guys from off the pitch, and, and when they receive some of the veteran guys, some of the main players, more rest. So when they were to come back in, it comes down to that back stretch. I call it the back yeah. stretch. You know, in golf, they call it the back stretch. You know, <laughs> with the all uh, and they were able to have not to actually match loss of energy. And I think they're going to have to be able to go deep to the pitch tonight. But here's a curveball for you. One of the starters for the Golden State Warriors, uh, Kerry Coach said that he wouldn't start him tonight. Would you start Davon Green? Well, um, it all depends. But Davon is such a poor part to the Golden State. And I guess if Kerry said he's not going to start him, he's looking at him that you want to talk about uh, to be more effective. But I think what Austin is doing is they're using Davon's own ability against himself. Meaning, they're leaving him open. They, they, they want him to. But he was not taking any shots, though. Exactly. So that's what Boston is trying to do. So Kerry wants to bring in a guy, and probably going to start a team where he has five threats out there rather than four. Okay. Okay. 
See, because Dagon had missed, what, 35 points or 45 points uh, on the last game because uh, he was cold and didn't even know whether or not to go into the bucket, didn't know what. And then every time he hit from the three-point or two-point, he, he was missing. He had so many great shots out there. But I like the energy of, of Dagon Green because he reminds me so much of that guy by the name of Dennis Rodman. Did you have a Dennis Rodman on your squad? <laughs> Yes, sir. Any day of the week. Any day of the week. You know, and, and, and what you just said, uh, you see, is that, you know, that's something the kids can learn from. It's not all the sports, you know. You know, so everybody wants to score because they mainly can't be a basketball. Right. But yeah. it's not all about points. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. you can do some things that are so valuable. Michael didn't describe me getting a whole lot of people down, getting the team a second shot, rotating on defense. Making good assists, which they want to see through that. You know, uh, I, I heard him say one time that he looks for Steph Curry's spot for Steph Curry. You know what I mean? Yes. So it, it makes other guys not be good. Yes. Coach, are you surprised that uh, Golden State and Boston are playing in the finals? Well, well honestly, yeah, he's surprised. He wants the Blazers to be there. Look, besides your team, are you kind of surprised, though, at these two? Yeah. I, uh, and then I put Milwaukee or even New Jersey with you know Kevin Durant and people that are come out of the East. But Boston is a real and this is the key team. Yes. <laughs> a real team. And so what do you team, tell us why you say that? What makes them a team to you? Uh, uh they they have all the parts. They got a pressure with Al Horford. You got Jason Taylor. You got uh Brown. You got White. You got some uh, guys, other guys, Williams. You got other guys coming off the bench. And when they come off that bench, like the, uh, Mr. E said, their young legs uh, mm -hmm. take, take control and they're able to keep their energy up and sustain a high level of energy. You know, I heard a lot of people talking about that game, this, this series today. One thing I just don't want to see happen, and I think that you don't want to see happen is is this a fix? Is a oh, game fix? Okay. You know, because sometimes as a coach, as a coach, and see the thing about you as a coach, you've been up on top with the big boys, and now you know you're looking at it from a distance. Is the games fixed? I don't think the game is fixed. I think that uh, there's some adjustments being made by both teams that is causing players not to be at their best. Wow. What you're supposed to do, you know. Uh, I, I don't think the games are fixed. Uh, the reason I think they've been saying that about this particular year is the playoffs is that there's been so many blowouts. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, you know, you have a, you know, you have a close game, and then you have a blowout, and then the other team comes back and blow out the other team. Yeah, yeah. You know, so so it, and it makes you kind of wonder, like, well, what? Like, I mean, it's kind of That's right. Blow up. Yeah. Are they Golden State? Are they like a fine wine? Tell us how you feel about them, what you think about them, and some of the players. Spiritually, bond is connected. Mm -hmm. Like, I listen you guys over your show. Mm -hmm. And you, you guys, I mean, it sounds like a sweet old Jimmy song <laughs> the way you guys interact and bounce off of each other. Yeah. And, and that's what Golden State has. They have so much rhythm and so much chemistry. And that comes to uh, that comes from actually role behind it. Yes. You know, absolutely. I do what I do best, you do what you do best. He does what he do best. He does what he do best. And what you got is a nice little gumbo. Wow. So you think so you think that the Golden State Warriors, it, this is my prediction. Now I want to switch from the Golden State Warriors because I'm come back there real short because I got to hear your prediction. What do you think about Zion that's at uh, or with the Pelicans, do you think that AD should have stayed with New Orleans and help groom and grow that young man, uh, Zion, or do you think Zion going to turn it out this year? I think I think Zion is going to make a comeback. Uh, I think he's going to he's going to put the work in which he has to do. You know, him being actually a big guy, a big guy. You know, he's going to have to do something about uh, diet and weight. You know, he's super athletic, but he's super athletic like that. 
even the floor, how high he gets up and then landing the yeah. whole yeah. On, on, on ligaments and, and, and muscles and all that type of stuff. So uh, I think he's going to be okay. Uh, it, it, as far as AP leaving, you know, who, who would want to play with LeBron? Wow. <laughs> I think LeBron James, are you taking me there? Everybody loves LeBron. I think L, uh, LeBron James is overrated. I think that folks, <laughs> oh yeah, I think he's overrated because he's with, a a team, with a team that he, they had in LA had that was no leadership. There was not yeah. one one person that stepped up to the back with all those superstars. AD, you had LeBron James, you had that, uh, 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 what's it, Westbrook, Westbrook. And, and you had, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, been in the league for such a long time, and Carmelo it, Carmelo. Carmelo. all them old heads, but there was no leadership out there, and the same thing gonna happen to Brooklyn if they don't watch it. Oh. They got all the, they got all that that the old heads playing and no leadership. Kyrie really don't want to play along with Kevin Durant because Kevin Durant is now taking over the team. That's why James Harden left and went to his direction. Now, the question that I really want you to answer, we got about 10 minutes here. The question that I really, 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 really want to know, who's going to win this series? Oh, boy. I'm going with Golden State. I think they take game five tonight, go back to Boston. Boston rebounds the game. They go back to Golden State. And, and they close it out. Oh, what they call themselves, look, look gold bloody. <laughs> gold, <laughs> oh, I like that. They gold <laughs> well, listen, Coach, uh, let's compare yeah. the past. You mentioned some of the greats and uh, the, the, the Lakers in the past. Let's compare the game of the past to now. Do you still feel the same way when you were coming up looking and uh, seeing some of these uh, cats play ball as uh, well, compared I to now? Well, I, I think the game now, I think back then it was more competitive. Meaning, you know, I know you, you're my man, and I'll see you after the game. Yeah. Oh, wow, this game is going on, and then we go into war. Ooh, <laughs> yes. I'm going to crash, pull, whatever I got to do to try to get this win. Whereas now, it, 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 it's, it's a little bit more of, you know, playing against my friends. Yeah. You know, now you, you I'm do. playing against my friends. Now, do you think they, they, they got away from playing basic basketball defense, three twos and two one twos, and, and now pull up three three twos? Do you think they got away from playing basic defense, basic basketball, and all they want to do now is shoot three pointers? Do you think that they got away from it? I think the game has went more from a defensive uh, game plan to win games to more than
whereas the younger guys nowadays, they, they're figuring it out as the game go on. Wow. Absolutely. You know, what about uh, as a coach, do you uh, sit with your uh, athletes and, and look at uh, the professional ball games and uh, do you study them together? How, how does it play out with you as a coach of a high school uh, team? Well, well, you know, not being in the same house, we talk about it. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but honestly, kids are so much in everything else. Oh. Boom, 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 yes. boom, boom. Coach, what's next for Coach? What's next for Coach Sanders? Well, well, well you know, I just came in a position to give you a, a, a vessel and, and a, you know, encouraging word to the young people. So, you know, I just pray that he can be to uh, hold me down and, and bless me like he has done all my life. And whatever he sees fit, that's what I'm going to be ready for. It. Wow. We want to thank you so much for being on FYI. If you have any contact information, social media, Anything you want to give, give it to our audience now. Well, I, I, I just go on Facebook. You know, I kind of, um, I got to get up to date with this new technology. Yeah. Uh, you know, I pull up my hands on one person, communicator face to face. So, so they don't know who is understanding. Well, they'll see you, you, at, the, they'll see you at the game then. <laughs> the game. That's right. God bless you. Thank you so much, God Coach. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, my friend. Thank you so very, very much. God bless you. Love, Love you more. You all come over here to our social media platform, and we'll see our listeners on Wednesday, Miss D. Have a wonderful day. Where I am now, I through those open doors, where I am now, but I cannot.
for the past 50, 30 minutes, you've been listening to the most talk about radio show in the whole wide world. That's FYI Radio Show with your host, Miss Yolanda, the lady. And I'm Ed Everett, the co-host. Our special guest has been none other than D. Knight Sandlin out of Kinsfield, Kinsfield head coach of basketball. Don't forget to tune in tonight for Warriors and the Celtics tonight. Get your popcorn, get your peanuts. Miss Hampton, what is your prediction for oh, tonight? This, you don't try it. Don't even try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. No. <laughs> I'm not going to take that. What you said, any given night? It's any man's game. And don't forget to join us Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right here. On WPC 1400, WGPL 1350, Peace 953. Where I am now, Wow. Listen, I tell you what, it's hard to make that prediction because you are talking about the cream of the crop. That's right. The, best of the, the best. top of the line. The top of the yeah. line. Go on and say, what can you say? But then Boston, I can't, I can't, I can't count them out. They are a great team as well, and they play hard. Let's see what our listening audience would think about it. Miss Tracy Porter, tell us who you going with. Uh, Miss Roberta Carter, let us know who you going with. Miss Sheila Robbins, let us know who you going with on this game on tonight. Oh, wow. Miss Lee, tell us about the game tonight. Where it's going to be played at? Tonight, 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 Miss Tent is going to be played. In Los Angeles oh at the Golden State oh, Home Court. See, that's why so, everybody figures Golden State at home. That, well, even Scott Carey said, he said, listen, we're going to be home tonight and we're going to have the crowd at our back. Mm-hmm. It looks like to me every time that we play in a different arena, the referees are different. Oh, I get it. Okay. You know, in, 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 when you look at it in Boston, the referee was more leaning towards Boston mm-hmm. than against the them with the uh, Golden uh, State, with Golden State uh-huh. Warriors. Okay. Now I think that what has to happen, they're gonna have to have a balance. Okay. It's two two now, and then they're going back to Golden State. Now if Golden State wins tonight, then they go back to Boston. And if Boston win in Boston, oh then they're coming back to Golden State, yeah. and that's going to be the ball. Absolutely. You know, I'm very curious, Mr. E, uh, how hungry are players? You know, uh, we are. We haven't talked about the business of uh, the NBA or the NFL yet, but is that a motivation? You know, I was thinking about uh, the coach, and he was talking about the Lakers, and I thought about LeBron James. And a lot of people th- thought that he was just, you know, going through the motion. Um, how much are they motivated by the business and the money of the NBA? You know, since he's able to make all the money in the world, does he have to play well? Or can he just, you know, get his points and, hey, just does he have to be a team player? You know, he uh, coach said that it was a lack of, you know, team effort. And so it doesn't get like that when the money's good, when the business is good, when you have all the popularity in the world, you've been there for a while, then you get lax. Well, Miss Hinton, I really think that LeBron James did that this year. Ooh. I really think that LeBron James, now he's a million, a billionaire. Yes. I think that LeBron James, only thing that he was trying to do is break records. Oh, wow. He broke his records and he only have give each team a two year contract. Yes. So his contract is up along with uh, uh, his contract is up uh, and, and along with some of the rest of the players out there. So now since his contract mm-hmm. is up, everybody's trying to figure it. Where what is he going to do? Where is he going? Well, let me let me serve notice on, on, on the squad now. When LeBron leaves, he wants to play, stay in the league long enough to play against his son oh, or to man. play with his son. Okay. So he's going back to Cavalier. Um, and I believe it. He's going back to Cavalier and play with Cavaliers. You really think I so? I really think so. He's going back. To, that's where his heart got broken in Cavalier, okay. uh, in Cleveland. Cleveland. His heart got broken in Cleveland when he was having family troubles there. Yes. So his heart got broken. So now he's going back to redeem himself and play along with his son. Look, Sheila Robbins says, Golden State Warriors. 
Good morning, Desi Cole. Give us your prediction. Who do you think is going to win this game uh, this evening? Or who do you think is going to go all the way to the end? Speaking of Desi Cole, he will be our special guest on Wednesday. Yes. On what's underneath the hat for um, uh, issues concerning men. So that'll be our special guest. What's your prediction, Mr. Desi Cole? Let us know. Is it Golden State or the oh, Boston wow. Celtics? That's one of the hardest games you got to fit in different candidates. Yeah, so right. I'm glad, I'm really glad that I'm not a basketball, uh, 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 I have a basketball team. But you have your prediction. I have my prediction, but I'm not over uh, zealous about my predict my prediction. Okay. You know, win or lose, I can deal with it. I yes. can deal with win, lose, or draw. I can deal with it. But when you get down to that football, this year is going to be a total <laughs> year for me, you know, because oh, I'm not yes. going to be overzealous and down to uh, – so hard on football this year. Oh my goodness! Well, it'll be a balance. I can imagine. It's going to be hard. Be I'm a withdrawal. Ooh. Golden State all day. All day. <laughs> oh my goodness, Golden State! You have a great chance. You got so many people rooting for you all. Uh, they are a great uh, team. Uh, well, Kerry got some to prove. Of course, he's got. He he can be the he done out. Shot LeBron James. He's the number wow. one score now. He's a star. He, now he's the number one score against uh, uh, LeBron James, Larry Bird, all the rest of those shooters that are out there. Now he can break and be the most valuable player and break records in shooting. LeBron James, you ain't got nothing on this guy, Ooh. you know. And and you know, and, and what I'm looking for them to do tonight. I'm looking for them to put Davon Green on the bench. Don't okay. let him start yet. Mm. But to put Polk out there. Okay. And when they put Polk out there, uh, and, and that's another shooter. Now, here's what I'm looking for to happen. Mm -hmm. You got Polk out there. You got Kerry out there. You got that other fella out there. And you got all these are shooters. Okay. These are shooters. So, Golden uh, uh, Boston will have something to, uh, to recommend. Not only can they shoot, but they can play defense too. Okay, which is very, very good. They play rough sometimes. Sometimes it's like, my goodness, are you going to play in straight ball or <laughs> professional ball? Sometimes it gets treacherous. I out thought there. you said it was ballerinas. Out sometimes there. <laughs> I'm saying, look, when they go for that basket, they jump. Sometimes they jump, they look like they twirl it in the air to me. I mean, they are really, but I'm saying, if they're, they're times when those games look very, very rough. Everybody's on the floor at, at one time or another fouls and of uh, uh, fouling out and it's just like whoa! But I'm telling you, it still makes for good uh, basketball uh, games. You've been watching the games, this whole, mm -hmm. these series down to, even down to the finals. Yes. Now, now have you seen the officiating? What do you think about the referees? Are they playing? Are they officiating great or what? You know, I it's really odd because I pay little attention to the well, to certain okay. things. Okay. Okay. So if they call, you know, if they call certain you know files, I like to see them uh, play back. You know what what they're talking about. I'm trying to learn something as I look at them. But when it comes to the officials, Mr. E, I'm really really. I don't pay much attention in the NBA, but the NFL, I think they are they are key. When they make a call, you want to know if that call is right. You're going to wait and you're going to look at them and you're going to actually sometimes get mad. You know, with the NBA, I don't see myself. I see myself kind of letting them like, okay, y'all, you all know what you're doing. You know, okay, whatever you say. Okay. You know, sometimes it's like iffy, like, mm, why did he let that go? Or why did they? You know, why did they do that? But the NFL is something I think I pay more attention to when it comes to officials. Yeah, I I, I like officiating. I like the game. But I think that it depends on where they're located. Mm -hmm. I look at some of the calls that the officiated the official call, the referee mm -hmm. call in um, Boston. Uh-huh. Uh, last game they played, there was no call. Ooh. Called on Boston oh, wow. against Golden State. Okay. Kerry uh, uh, was was complaining about it. He was asking about it, and but there was no calls 
call against them. So when I look at basketball, I'm, I'm not only looking at how they're playing the game, but I'm looking at the officiating also. Yeah. I'm looking at the coach, uh, how they, how he transforming, and ask the question: Why would he put that person in there? What is he thinking mm, about? Yes. You know, just yes. like today when I got the news that Davon Green, Davon Green, would not be starting. How come? Why are they gonna keep him? Uh, because he first? missed so many buckets. He missed last week. 35 points. Oh my goodness. He couldn't hit a layup and he was right underneath the bucket. What's that all about? He couldn't, he couldn't do a jump shot. He couldn't get one from the bucket. He couldn't get one from, and he was wide open. Why would you let a man be so wide open? He's wide open and can't hit the back of a bar. Wow. It's time to sit him down. It's there. time, but he was, but I would put him in to change the tempo of the game because okay. the crowd liked Dennis Rod. Mm -hmm. Some folks like the rough net, the rough net. Well, that's what I'm saying. They aren't they a little, you know, when they get rough like that, they get, they get kind of like useless. And so, you know, he's rough. Mm -hmm. But now when he get ready to shoot, he can't hit nothing. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what Golden State don't have to do is put some shooters out there. Okay. So when that that when it's time to make those little easy buckets, because if you notice, Golden, Golden State is coming in underneath the bucket. Mm -hmm. And and he dish off to Javon, Javon Green. And guess what? Javon Green didn't know whether or not to shoot the ball or the floor to back. Why don't he use the backboard? Why don't he lay it up? Instead of trying to do a jump shot and go across the bucket, you know, so we, we've really yeah. got to pay close attention to what's going on. Mister E, do you think it's enough celebrities in the game? You know, back in the yes. day, yes. the celebrities. I mean, the guys, uh, you know, everybody knew their name. They knew who they, you know, their personality and character. They were like in it for the, you know, for the. For the game, but also for who the players were. Right. Is it enough of that now? Well, see, I think that this young, this young generation, these young team players, has really let fame get to their head. Mm. Yeah, I, I really that. believe that fame has gotten to the heads of a bunch of these young oh, cats. Wow. They're not concerned about their health. Okay. All they doing is trying to get out there and get glory, uh, get get the name mentioned and get on the TikTok board up on the back uh, uh, and get their, you know, get all the prestige that they get. There's nobody really trying to play team ball. What about social media? How did that fit in uh, with the professional ball games and uh, ball players? Are they on the phone? Are they, yeah, they on the into phone. social media? Are they tweeting and carrying on and cutting up? If, if you look at it, those players are on the phone. Mm -hmm. They're sitting on the sideline. They're tweeting on the sideline. They just ain't got bold enough yet to stop in the middle of the play and start a text. <laughs> they ain't got that bold yet. But this 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 new breed, uh, this new cat, uh, um, great players out there, great names, yes. they get good. It looked like when they came out of college, mm -hmm. they got into the NBA and their minds went to the left. Oh, wow. They're not playing finesse. They're not playing... Uh, right now, you see them hand checking them now on the Golden State Warriors and also on Boston Celtics. You see them laying a body on them. That's good basketball. Okay. When you start to lay, you see them that blocking. That blocking is that that that, that, uh, that they do now is they're gonna hurt somebody because they're stepping up and really putting the shoulder into somebody. I you thought know. Steph Curry's going to lose, lose that ankle again. I was like, somebody don't, I'm like, don't fall on that man's ankle. Don't now you're going to see the difference Ooh, in the calls tonight. Tell me. They're not going to be able to breathe on Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. If they breathe on him, beep. Wow. Yeah. So once this game is over, Mr. E, say a Golden State win, where does the game go? Go it goes there. back to Boston. Okay. And then once it goes back to Boston, that gives Boston, that, that says this, that Boston got a chance either to tie the series up. It's a seven-game series. Yeah. Right now it's two to two. Mm -hmm. If Golden State wins tonight, that'll be three, mm -hmm. three, two. So that's five games. They still have two more games yeah. after that. So when they leave from Golden State, they go to the Boston. If Boston win, that'll be three, three. 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 Uh -huh. And guess what? The final game goes back to Golden State Amazing. Warriors. Now, when the final game goes back to Golden State Warriors, guess what? Hmm. 
the Golden State Warriors gonna show out. Now here's the kicker part: each one of those clubs and the uh, um, the people are making their money. The box office are making yes. their money. The food vendors are making their money. The T-shirt man is making his money <laughs> because they got six games so far. Everybody is getting paid mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you got a you got a bond burner. Wow. I tell you what, it's going to be interesting. I hope you all get a chance to look at this game tonight. What time does it come on? Again, come on, nine o'clock tonight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on uh, Channel 13 here in the Hampton Roads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, can't, uh, I can't wait. You all keep no, looking. I was speaking for sports this weekend. Yeah, I was wondering yesterday if you were into, <laughs> like, hey, trying to find something that looked like there wasn't a game on that I could set up. But anyway, it's going to be great. Uh, sports talk. Uh, we're going to continue our sports talk. We're going to go all the way to the end with the NBIA and find out, hey, who is the, who is the number one, the numero uno uh, of basketball this season? It's going to be fascinating. And then summer camp moves around for the football squad. Oh, my goodness. They're playing. They're working out now. They're coming together now because they got – 70 so many players so on the squad quick. for football. And with the 70 so many players, they trying to put, divide who they're going to keep and who's going to be on reserve. Well, we're going to follow it all. We're going to continue to look at it on this evening and follow it till the end. And then we're going to do a switcheroonie and look at some other sports as well as the NFL. So, Track and field and golf. Oh, my goodness. Tiger Woods is no longer in the golf. Oh, my goodness. You know, they're, they're, I haven't seen an African-American yet like Tiger. He got kicked out. Somebody oh. will come through. You know, it's always a generation that will bring forth a, 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 another person almost like uh, the clone, you know, a clone of the other one. But anyway, you all, uh, we're going to um, come back on next Monday and uh, talk about this game that's going to happen on today. And let's see where all this goes. In the meantime, thank you all so much for joining us. Tracy Porter, with Bruna Carter, Sheila Robbins, Destiny Cohn, who's going to be our special guest on uh, Wednesday. Can't wait. Looking forward to it. Uh, but Mr. E, we got some folk coming on um, this month, next month. Yeah, Just we got some great lineup. folks coming on this month, Miss Hinton. We got Miss Rhonda Driver. Yeah, we'll be out on a Wednesday. Will be our special guest on next week. Uh, sports talk. Mm -hmm. On nice. next week, sports talk. On next week, we got uh, on sports talk. We got Coach the DeAndre. Uh, uh, DeAndre Adams will wow. be our special guest. He's um, the, uh, in charge of parks and recreations right here in um, Norfolk, Virginia. He's the one, because of the pandemic, um, they have not released their boys to go out there and play football and basketball. So he's in charge of that arena. He's in charge of the sports section, the sports side of parks and recreation in North. So he'd be our special guest on oh Sports goodness. Talk. And then we have Mr. Um, Van, 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 Van Der, Vanderbilt Sykes. Mm. Oh God, what a what a great man he is. We'll be yes. talking with us issues concerning men. That just a little history about him, Miss Hinton. And we got to let our listening audience know he has designed a program mm -hmm. that everybody can have a standard of uh, of funeral plan. Mm -hmm. Listen to this right quick. And he has designed that seven members mm -hmm. of your family or seven of your friends can have a standard funeral plan for only $75. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, we're going to hear more about that when he comes on. It's very interesting. And the way people are dropping now, I hate to say, <laughs> you, you better be thinking about the future uh, when it comes to death and uh, all kind of stuff that's happening. What around. about those? What about the 17th, Miss Hinton? Who well, I tell that? you what, we have Barack McMillan that's going to be coming on. We have... Uh, Again, uh, uh, Gabrielle uh, Pink, uh, Bree Pinkney. She's going to be on. Uh, let's see who else. It, it's quite a few that we have lined up to be on FYI Radio Show. We're going to keep giving you the updates of, uh, as we fill the calendar. Soon, when we go on our website, you'll be able to see the calendar of our guests and everything. But we have a great lineup. Uh, again, starting Wednesday, yeah, Mr. Yeah, Jesse yeah. Holmes is going to be on. 
And uh, yeah, so we'll continue to give you all the tea on who's going to be here. Now, remember, we're going to be serving that tea. That and tea, on that Friday, tea. Uh, this Yolanda Henson, your host, is going to be uh, live over there at uh, in D.C. talking about something in the water. Something. God, hold on. Yes. Wrong song. <laughs> and some of the things that, you know, that... Uh, we can expect to happen at some of the water, some great uh, artists and acts that will be there. Uh, they even have plastic and things, and uh, they're going to have bending. Uh, it's it's just uh, it's going to be a whole lot of stuff going on. And I'm going to give you some tea from Washington, D.C. That sounds so great, Ms. Hinton, and we want to wish you the best. Don't forget, we want your videos. We want all of that so that we can show yes. our listening audience. We might come live. We might go live while you oh, out that would there, be you know, and let folks see what's going on. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, expect some great shows. Serving that tea. We're going to be serving that tea. I got some tea. What's some tea? It's so much. I got some. I got some new tea. tea. Your girl's sister came up and said that jumped her own sister. Oh, Monique. Monique. <laughs> Monique's sister. That's some fr fun Friday. We got some. Oh, we got some church tea. We got some fun Friday tea. Some local tea. It's a lot of tea going on, uh, Mr. E. And we're gonna be serving that tea on uh, real soon. We have our cups coming. If you all want a cup, you're going to have to let us know or go on our website and get that cup. And uh, let's go on a search and see. Now, I told you all out there as well, I need some scouts. I have a few, look, that I've elected. I have two, three. I need a few more scouts to serve that tea. We're going to pull you in on our segment. Now, remember, we're going to an hour now. Yeah. We're going to an hour. One hour starting the 18th. I think that's Monday. That's Monday. We're starting Monday. We'll starting Monday. An the, hour. The 20th. The 20th I'm of June. So excited about it. We'll be on for an hour on. And then, and then, Miss Denton, I can't hold it no longer. Go ahead. And then, Miss Denton, 88.9 should be on by the time you return oh my from, the, from something. In the world. That's absolutely awesome. Another uh, platform for FYI radio show. Uh, as a matter of fact, we want you all to follow us on our social platform. Uh, we're right now on LinkedIn. We're on Twitter. We're on YouTube. And of course, Facebook Live. We need you all to follow us, share, like, subscribe. We need those numbers so we can go on LinkedIn and TikTok. Tick you know, we have to have numbers to go live. Tick and so if you all to tell your friends, go on, Mr. E said TikTok, <laughs> looking for the following, we're looking for the numbers. That's right, that's right. So we would love for you all to uh, join us on those platforms as well. I just had a rhyme in my spirit when Good. I heard Hickory, Dickory, <laughs> Doc. The clock ran up, the clock. TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Sheila, you like that? Sheila, what do you think about that? Right. <laughs> the mouse ran up. Did you go back to the door more? The clock took one, the mouse ran down. Tick tock. Tick a ridiculous <laughs> dock. Mr. Matthew Roman, how you doing? What you think about Mr. E's music? Also, Afonzi Copeland, Afonzi, good morning. You all are definitely wonderful and a blessing. Tracy, again, good morning to you. Uh, so, yeah, don't forget to follow us. Don't forget the ladies' hot. Now, look, the ladies' hot. The lady has been in the kitchen, honey. Someone's in the kitchen with the lady, and the lady is drumming up some really good treats and things to go along with that fabulous pie. And so I'm going to uh, give you all the tea, especially when I come back from D.C. Uh, 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 <laughs> what is that? Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, uh, Mr. E is in. What do you say? Mr. E is in. He's in it. He's in it. He's in it. And the pig. Or the guinea pig. Or, or. And if you all would like, you know, to be a guinea pig, one of you, uh, <laughs> she looks like he's trying. You all want to be my guinea pig for some of the treats that I am uh, developing and, that, and recipes that I'm fine tuning. You all let me know. Uh, for those that are our, our listeners and uh, our viewers that are always on with us, let me know. 
But anyway, also the ladies' music, the book. Oh my goodness, everything is coming together. The book. Uh, make sure you check out the ladies' music online as well. And um, what else? Pie. 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 Also, you yeah, have the pie and the music. Uh, also, we will host your special event. Summer's right around the corner, Miss Hinton. Oh, so if goodness. you've got anything planned for yes. cookout or anything of that nature, let us know because we'll host your event uh, and things of that nature. We'll, we'll come out, Miss Hinton and I will come out and be your host for a great, great yes, yes. evening. And you won't you won't be sorry because we, 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 we're connected. You see us live. And we feed right off, like Mr. Sandler said, we feed each other. Let's see, you all have a, a something going on for Father's Day. Do you want to tell our, our, list, our viewers? Yes, that's right. We got we got something going on for Father's Day on the 17th. That's Friday from 10 to, from 12 to 2, we have a cookout for Father's Day. A free cookout wow, for wonderful. Father's Day. That's on from twelve to two at the radio station five three three five East Virginia Beach Boulevard in the city of North Virginia. We're gonna have music. We're gonna have fun. And we're gonna have fellowship. Oh, you ain't gotta worry about dad is getting the screwdriver past all <laughs> stops. We are gonna feed you. We are gonna feed you. It is wonderful to be able to, uh, you know, give to our fathers and appreciate them. They are wonderful. We have a lot of wonderful fathers, a lot of fathers that are trying, a lot of uh, guys that really need encouraging and mentors. But, hey, those that are that fathers, a lot of them love their youngins. That's right. And, uh, we appreciate them. We celebrate them. That's right. And don't forget Father's Day. And then don't forget Juneteenth start this oh, weekend. Yes. Because the radio station will be down on the 24th Street oh my Stadium. We'll be the stage. We'll be at the 24th Street stage. Oh, we got a whole lot. We got James Fortune and Five will oh. be down there. Damian Little will be down there. The Virginia Airs will be down there. The Word Singers will be down there. Uh, uh, Earl Bynum will be down there. Uh, Keith Wonderboy Johnson and Carmel, she'll be down there with us on the 24th Street Bridge. And you ain't got to wear your gleaming suit. Come out there with your shoes and yes. your sandals on. And let's have some fun. Have some wonderful I'll fun. I'll be on stage at the beach. Congratulations, CBC. That sounds like a wonderful That's wonderful launching night. off three radio, four, two FM stations. We'll be launching those off. That's right. Absolutely. Congratulations, you guys. So, Mr. E, it's been wonderful. Uh, if you want to be a special guest, a sponsor, or an intern, Mr. E has the head team. All you have to do is go to Edwin Edwin's Facebook page, Inboxes, Miss Yolanda, the Lady Hanson Facebook page, Inboxes, FYI, Facebook page, Inboxes, or you can email us at uh, FYI Radio Show Live. Mm -hmm. Radio show, FYI radio show live uh, at gmail.com. Or, or you can give us a call at 757 714 7861. That's 757 714 7861. And don't forget to join us Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, starting on the 20th. We'll be on at 9. A.M. So that means Roberta Collins, Sheila Robbins, you got to get to sleep out your eyes <laughs> before 9 a.m. So that means you got to get you a cup of coffee, a cup of java, a cup of cocoa, and join us. Don't forget, if you can't catch us on Facebook, you can catch us on LinkedIn. If you can't catch us on LinkedIn, you can catch us on YouTube. If you can't catch us on YouTube, you can catch us on Twitter. We own all four of those platforms and soon to be tech top in the clock or uh, you can catch us on uh internet which one uh you can catch us on uh instagram that's it yeah we're still on instagram so that means we on, right now we're on four and we got two more to go that's six listen to me and then we got two a.m stations that eight right in the center mm -hmm. plus that's six plus mm -hmm. two two a.m stations and two fm stations that's that's ten then we got the streamers streaming online wow. yes. all over the world. Thank the Lord for platforms where we can reach more people and come with great information. FYI for your information. And uh, we're going to try to bring it. So look, you all be blessed. Enjoy this wonderful, wonderful weather we have it here in the Hampton Roads area. And we're going to see you back here on Wednesday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that outfit. <laughs> See you all. You be blessed.
Bye-bye. Bye now. Two up, two down. VA.